Hey, my name is Alex, and this is lesson 20 for 7th grade math. Uh, for this first portion, they want you to multiply the polynomial. So for number one here, we have x to the power of 7 times x plus 5. So to multiply it, you're just going to distribute. So multiply the 7 to the power of x to the power of 7 with the x then multiply with the 5, so it becomes x to the power of 8 plus 5 times x to the power of 7. And if you don't know how to get this, then just remember that if you have the same base and if you're multiplying, then you could just add the exponents together. So this is your answer for number 1. Number two, we have y squared times x to the power of six minus six y to the power of three. So we're gonna distribute again, just like number one. So x squared times x to the power of, or y squared times y to the power of six is just y to the power of eight. Remember this rule, just two plus six. And then y squared minus, or times minus six y cubed it's just going to be negative 6y to the power of 2 plus 3, which is just 5. So this is your answer for number 2. For number 7, we have 8t squared times 2t cubed plus t to the power of 5. So here, we're going to distribute. So it's going to be 8t squared times 2t cubed, which is just 16 times t to the power of 2 plus 3, which is just 5. And then plus 8t squared times t to the power of 5, which is just 8t to the power of 7. This is your answer for number 7. Number 8, we have 2a times 5a to the power of 4 minus a to the power of 5 plus 4a. So here, we're going to distribute again. So it becomes 2a times 5 times a to the power of 4, which is just 10 times a to the power of 5. Then you're going to multiply 2a with negative a to the power of 5, which is just negative 2a to the power of 6. And you're going to multiply 2a with 4a, which just turns, which just equals plus 8a squared, which is your answer for number 8. Uh, this next portion, they want you to factor. So here, when you're factoring, uh, for number 1, we have x squared plus 11x plus 18. So here, what you want to do is you're basically trying to find the two factors of, uh, of this number right here, the constant, which add up to this coefficient. So basically, the factors of C that add up to b if we're using this formula or this uh, form of x squared plus bx plus c and if there's no coefficient for x squared so number one factors of 18 would be 18 and 1 9 and 2 and 3 and 6 so if we look the 2 that add up to 11 is 9 and 2 right here. So it's going to be x plus 9 and x plus 2. And it's going to be pluses because both of these are positive. So you know this whole thing is just going to be positive. Number 2, we have x squared plus 3x plus 2. And just like the previous problem, we find the factors of 2, which are just 2 and 1. So it's Nice and simple, just x plus 2 
times x plus 1, or number 2. Number 7, we have x squared minus 4x plus 3. So the factors of 3 are going to be 3 and 1, except this time we have to make it add up to a negative number. And if, we're, if we have uh, a positive 3, then you know that in order to multiply into a positive number but add up to negative numbers, Nev negative number, then both of the factors have to be negative. So here is going to be x minus 3 and x minus 1. Because negative 3 times negative 1 is just positive 3. But if you add them together, it's going to be negative 4. Okay. Number 8, we have t squared minus 8t plus 12. And here it's going to be the same thing as number 7. We have to make it multiply into a positive number, but add up to a negative number. So uh, we know that the two factors have to be negative. And the factors of 12 are just 12 and 1, and 6 and 2, and uh, 4 and 3. But we ha they all have to be negative. And the one that adds up to negative 8 will be negative 6 and negative 2. So it's going to be t minus 6 times t minus 2 for your answer. Uh, number 15, uh, we're supposed to solve for the variable q. And to do that, we have to make it equal 0. So we have q times q plus 19. And we move the negative 34 over, so it becomes pot plus 34 equals 0. And we distribute this to make it a nice polynomial or trinomial. So it becomes q squared plus 19q plus 34 equals 0. And your factors of 34 are going to be 34 and 1 and 17 and 2. And 70, 17 and 2 add up to 19, so it's going to be q plus 17 times q plus 2 equals 0. And you can set both of these each uh, equal to 0 to solve. And q plus 17 equals 0. q equals negative 17. And q plus 2 equals 0. q equals negative 2. So your answer is going to be q equals negative 17 and q equals negative 2. Uh, number 16, we have x squared plus 6x minus 72. So here, we know that it, it's going to multiply into negative number, but add up into a positive number. So only one of the factors has to be negative. And the factors of 72 are 72 and 1. Uh, 72 and negative 1. 36 and 2, 36 and negative 2, negative 24 and 3, 24 and negative 3, negative 18 and 4, and 18 and negative 4, and negative 12 and 6, 12 and negative 6, negative 9 and 8, and 9 and negative 8. So it's a long list, but if we look here, the one that adds up to positive 6 is going to be 12 and negative 6. So a new factor is going to be x, x plus 12 times x minus 6 equals 0. And if you set both equal to 0, then we get negative 12 and we get positive 6 for our answer for number 16.